right, bro. I'm trying here. I'm giving you want to try a very quick tutorial about build info and how to turn off the little boxes and stuff that you don't want popping up on your screen there. Like you notice when I look at stuff, you get the little info box that pops up over there. It shows you know 500 kilograms, 2.62 kilotons, its integrity 2.5 um, thousand points, I suppose. That sort of thing. Well, you can turn that off uh, simply by going into the, all the different menu settings for build info. You hit chat, which is enter, okay, and then F2, and then this all comes up. Well, actually, you're not going to see this. You're going to see just mod settings, and you're going to see this box. Turn this box off. This is a different kind of terminal that's actually handled by all this over here now. So you're going to click on mod settings. And you'll see this and it's all the different mods and how to set them up the way you want them personally like the paint gun and that kind of stuff click on build info and you'll get the next set of settings the one in particular we're looking for is the text box that's the little thing that pops up whenever you hover over something it's set to always on and you just can click on it until it goes all the way to off and then all of that is off and now when you point at stuff, you notice you no longer get the no longer get the pop up there with all the information on it. And if you want that, you can turn it back on anytime. That's uh, perfectly acceptable. Um, so let's see. Let's fly out here a little bit. I'm gonna look at this. You see, you fly out and you look at it. Now you hold Control and you do Control Plus. And it brings up the overlays like this shows the air tightness and specialized air tightness would just be on the bottom of this so you're not going to see it anything that's airtight will come up as blue but the specialized shows the turret arc uh, shows the the firing accuracy as it comes out as you see that shows you how much the uh the thing will spread as it comes out and there's a, a, a thing i think shift r maybe is it shift r Yeah, Shift R allows you to keep that on the screen so that you can then come out and see, you know, what kind of range you're looking at. So let's zoom back in on it here. For instance, let's look at the rocket. Okay. See, so like this right here. Let's go through Control, Control Plus. Okay. That's the overlays off. That's the airtight. You see, it's airtight on all the sides except the front. Specialized shows where it comes out. There's its mount points. There's its ports. I'm going to put there and then we're going to shift R it. That locks it on. So then you can see kind of the spread as it comes out. You can see the, the distance that as it comes out, how it's going to spread as it comes forth. Not too bad for a rocket. Not too bad for a rocket launch there. All right, is there anything else? Um, obviously, with this on, you come up here, do control. Control does also pulls up build vision. You may have to go around it a little bit. Oh, see, I've still got, I've still got, uh, I've still got the, the show air tightness. So anything you look at is going to show its air tightness. If it's blue, that side is air tight. Okay, so let's go here there's this mount points ports and now off so we want to look at this and hold down control you might have to might have to move it around a little bit this is the build vision and build vision you pull this up it gives you basic information like it shows us power how many wattage it is using that's max power it's set to depressurize right now. It's running depressurizing. There's no oxygen in the room. You see that zero and everything's depressurized. Now, while you're holding down control, move your mouse, uh, move the mouse wheel, and it gives you the menu wheel here. Okay? And in this case, what you're looking for is say air leak. Air leak scan stop and find air leak scan. No leaks. See, no leaks. So there's no leaks in anything, any of the room that this air that this does. So that is part of build info right there. And you can also go to a terminal. You know, if we go to the terminal here and pull up the terminal and go air. You know, 
you got the uh, air vent fan, the air return fan right there. You can also come down here and make sure it's showing on the HUD and then find air leaks. And it shouldn't currently be having any air leaks. Might, now that that door is shut, let's say. All right, the air return. Show on HUD and find air leaks. As you see, it doesn't find an air leak anywhere, so it's ready. Okay, so there you go. But like I said, that's an easier way to do it. Is to do it like this, and then go, you know, find no air leaks found. And that'll also you can toggle the block on or off. Like I said, if you've got lights, if I'm looking at a light, come over here and look at the light, and do this. You can set everything, turn it on, off. You can change the color, the radius, the intensity, everything. Looking at a light, and you don't have, and you can even back away from it a bit and adjust it while you're doing this, and and see the effect. You know, a lot easier than going over to that little control panel there and trying to figure out how the lights work. And then, of course, you've got the copy settings. You know, once you get one light, let's say you want to do it on all of them, you can copy whatever settings usually I do copy all there and then when you go to another one and go then you can do paste and paste them in and make all the lights exactly the same so there you go hope that helped out a little bit that's one of the two of the tools that I use and like I said well uh, on build info how to get rid of the extraneous stuff on the uh, on your screen and all and the best part about it is with build info having done all that hop up here look down here at your at your uh, you know your toolbar build info gives you the toolbar info it shows you each one of the things you know thrusters toggle block on and off camera on number five is rocket launcher six and seven are my Gatlins and the assault cannon and you press it to shoot once and those connector lock and unlock and all the different information down there that you have so all right there you go I'm gonna go recharge back up and uh, maybe do a little bit more work on this or try to figure out how to do the, uh, oh, did you see all the purples? Those are the ones I was replacing when I was trying to find the air leak. We also had an air leak down here too. Hmm, that's weird. Had an air leak here because this is, uh, uh, I that up there to see how many ports I had, didn't I? Um, because you just had a pipe going through there, and pipes are not um, pipes are not uh, airtight. Let's, see, let's get to airtightness. Yeah, as you see, the pipe doesn't have any airtightness. I suppose that must be what it considers the front of the pipe, the one that points out like that. But you see, this one does. You have to put the conveyor junction on there to get that blue. I had to take out the pipe that went through there and put a conveyor junction, and that cured one of the other uh, air tightness things. What was I looking at? Um, conveyor pipe. Um, oh, front, front. Yes, let's find. Where are the gyro? Where's my gyroscope? Are the gyroscopes? I know there's gyroscopes on here. Do I have them buried under armor now? I bet I do. Okay. Let's go to the angler up here. There we go. I got two gyroscopes on top of it. Let's see which it considers to be the front. Interesting. So take that as you will. Maybe that blue one. You may be correct. I may have these on here backwards. You may have picked out the front side, the correct front side, because it seems like it wants to put a blue line out this way. So maybe that's the front. All right, I think you may be right there, because yeah, because there's the cockpit. The blue line sits out the front of the cockpit, and the blue line, well, no, the blue line sits, points up from the antenna, so I suppose that's what it considers the front of the antenna. Okay, there you go. You see your thruster there. Let's go shift R. And now we can move back away from the thruster and see exactly where the thrust column comes out at. And where it's airtight. Airtight everywhere except for where the thrust column is. 
all right hope that helps you some and uh, I need to fix this up this is probably what I'll do start trying to figure out how to uh, turn this into a into a craft I'm gonna put a connector there with a connector and the um, remote control part then we'll be really fishing we'll fl fly up to it and then cast out our drone to go and catch what we want to catch so I will see you later man hopefully we'll see you this evening and uh, hopefully you're having an okay time hope the computer's working well so we'll see you later bye bye